If you want stuff, then go to WhiteStuffAnime.com. Come on now, you know I had to make that fun. What's up guys, this is Vinge here and I'm bringing you another Dummy Lit Right Stuff anime video but before we get into it I want to give a huge shout out to Right Stuff Anime for bringing this goodness over my way and if you become interested in Gundam Build Divers as you're watching this video then be sure to use the link in the description section below to get the right stuff for the right price. So today we're going to dive into my first impressions of Gundam Build Divers. I watched the first two episodes, so I figured I'd do things a bit differently this time. So why don't we go ahead and take a quick look at the cool cover art that we got right here and BAM! There it is right there. We have Riku and his double O Gundam that he will be rocking in this series. And then here is the spinal portion of the of the cover very clean i love the clarity of the logo and then last but not least we have the back and oh my god is it beautiful look at the vivid color i like the arrangement of the sprites especially the thumbnails towards the bottom it just looks really clean vivid and detailed i love it so why don't we go ahead and read what we have on the back here and it says gunpla battle nexus online is a new network game that lets people enjoy a variety of missions using gunpla in a virtual cyberspace dimension middle school students Riku, Mikami, and Yukio Hidaka dive together into this vast world. And Momoka Yashiro, their soccer friend, decides she wants to join in as well. Becoming divers or inhabitants of GBN, they meet a mysterious girl named Sarah who has an amazing sensitivity to gunpla. They begin playing alongside her, but there are many other famous divers starting with Kuya <coughs> Kujo, the champion whom Riku admires, multiple divers can join to form a team called a force. Meanwhile, the game is disrupted by mass divers who use unofficial tools called break decals. I assume this must be some kind of hacker tool or something. Allows them to do some crazy stuff. And through many encounters and experiences, Riku and his friends will build not only Gunpla, but their own adventures as well. It includes episodes 1 through 25, prologue, episodes, clean openings, clean endings, Yuki's Gunpla review, then we have Shari's TV warning, uh, build divers Gunpla commercials, and Blu ray commercials. This is in 1080p high definition, 16 to 9 aspect ratio. English subtitles as well as English dub and Japanese dub you have all the goodness and all the all the four discs are in here and so with that said let's look at what's inside wham and we have beautiful clean cover um cover art on the discs I love that they just always have this nice detail to them very beautiful very clean very colorful and I also forgot to mention it's kind of interesting how you have so many different Gundam that you're going to encounter even little cute chibi ones look at them look at the eyes they stare they look into your soul this variation to the Gundam build series introduces a different concept online Gundam MMO PvP adventure Gundam Battle Nexus Online, also referred to the acronym as GBN, is the name of the game. Time to play the game. Time to play the game! Fans of video games would definitely feel right at home with this one. The first episode immediately throws you into a battle between the current champion team, Avalon, and the 7th Pincer Division team. Team Avalon! What can I say about them? You have Kyoya, the never give up Haspando who happens to be the typical hero admired by the MC. 
also referred to as the main character MC. You see what I did there. Then we have Amelia, the level headed smarty pants and glasses who would quickly hit you with the facts. And then there's our lovable gun ho type of character, the guy that's going to dive in first and ask questions later. Karuna. Yes. Now, when I heard this man's name for the first time, I swear to goodness, I thought his name was pronounced as Corona. I literally had to rewind it back to hear that again. I swear 2020 is stuck in the dome. One good reason why you should check this out on RightStuffAnime.com. Are you stuck in the house because of that darn coronavirus pandemic? Yeah. Are you bored? Yes. Then grab a Right Stuff anime product. Link in the description below. Now that's an awesome idea. I'm going to do that right now. Click. The first episode just displays some epic gameplay from the champion team. You get to see the vivid colors and clean animation work its magic as well as get an idea as to why Riku admires the strength of the champ. Yeah! Did somebody call the champ Hercule? No. Oh man, come on, way to kill the mood, bro. Man. MC? Check. Sidekick, check. Mysterious girl, check. Online cyberbully, check. Flamboyant male character, check. If you're in the cat girls, this anime got you covered. Check, check. Hot anime mom. I only watched two episodes, so I'm sure I'll come across that bridge when I get there. Let's talk about the first adventure Riku experienced. When MC Riku Master Flex and his sidekick joins the world of Gunpla Battle Nexus, they are introduced to Magi, a man with the purtiest nails on earth. Did I just say purtiest nails on earth? Yes, you did. Anyway, Magi happens to be a big time player that is a navigator who looks after beginning divers or inhabitants of the new realm, you know, the inhabitants of the game. So think of Magi as a moderator, not, yeah, mediator and mod who ensures rookies who join the community has a good time so they'll be able to come back and spend money on waifus and husbandos. Wait, wrong game. <laughs> Dudes and dudettes. I couldn't help but laugh at McGee, man. The dude's freaking funny. I mean, I'm telling you. But I mean, I love his personality. He's really kind, and he's extremely helpful as well. And so we have Riku and company. They went on their first tutorial mission, which happened to be successful. And then after that battle, Riku gets an SOS signal from the mysterious girl that we know is named Sarah, and she's found grounded in the cold. And so just to sum it up really quick, boy saves girl, girl wakes up, trio meets cyberbully, cyberbully pretends to be hurt, and Riku, that dude is gullible as fudge. I mean, the MC actually listened to every single command that the cyberbully made, and when he followed dude's instructions, the cyberbully wind up tricking him into turning off the tutorial mission mode. And so that allowed the cyberbully to PvP some noobs that he thought were easy targets. And if you're not sure what I'm talking about, if you're familiar with something like Grand Theft Auto or something like that where you have kind of like a safe mode where there isn't friendly fire or you're not being attacked by anyone but the moment that you turn that mode off all heck breaks loose and that's what the cyber bully was after he wanted that tutorial mode off so that he can get some easy kills for some easy points and dude i'm telling you right now i swear riku's like one of those kids who would actually take candy from strangers and during the battle with the cyber bully we learned 
about the mysterious girl's ability to sync with the thoughts of Gomplas. Who would have thought that Gomplas can actually think? But that's how anime is, right? It always has some zany plot twist, right? And so she told Riku his Gumpla is not ready to give up, which prompted Riku to refuse to abort the mission with the aid of McGee. And as a result, the cyber bully used the typical salty online dialogue you would expect. I will get you for this, you stupid noobs! Dude, I couldn't stop laughing. It's just the fact that this has such a modern take on it, and as a gamer, you can definitely relate to that because the word you noob is used a lot of times. I mean, like, dude, when somebody's new at something, dude, you're a noob, you're a freaking noob, you're a noob, you're a noob, you're a noob. To me, this anime is a feel good anime that's fun to watch and super easy to understand. No politics that you need to grasp, just well animated battles and positive vibes. There's also plenty of references to previously released Gundam series, so for instance, the Gunpla that Riku uses is the 00 Gundam from Mobile Suit Gundam 00, which I happen to have done a review on in the past as well, and that's the exact same Gundam that is used by the MC in this anime, so it's some wicked stuff. There was even references to the epic Gundam known as Wing Zero, from Gundam Wing. It's just so many references that you can eat up if you're familiar with the Gundam franchise. So if you like open world adventure, playing video games, cat girls, or um the you appreciate a good underdog that rises from noob status to a legend, then this is definitely the anime for you. So if you're interested in watching Gundam Build Divers, then make sure to dive in that description section and click on that link in there to get Gundam Build Divers for the right price. So remember, if you want the right stuff, then go to the rightstuffanime.com. You guys have an epic rest of your day and be safe out there, alright? Peace and God bless.